Hello, welcome to video four. What is material? The sine and cosine nodes. Let me go ahead and pull up our quick little example here. And we can actually see the sine and cosine nodes here. But first we need to start off what they are and how we actually intend on using them. So if we pull up this quick little Wikipedia article, basically, and this is of no use to us for materials, but basically, Sines and cosines are trigonomic functions. They're basically used to determine angles on triangles based on the lengths of sides. But the secondary effect is it's useful for studying and modeling periodic phenomena. That's actually how we intend on using cosines and sines in materials. So basically what are cosines and sines used for? They're useful for getting steady or rhythmic waves from something. So a common use is if we take our time and put it into our sine function and take our sine function and put it into our base color, we're going to see a flashing material. Now if we did the same thing for a cosine and pulled it out, we're going to see the same thing basically. Not identical, we're going to cover the difference. Now let's cover sine and cosine nodes themselves. So the sine and cosines have one input and one output and only one parameter, so it's really simple. The parameter is the period, or the length of time for it to completely cycle. So for example, let's say we want it to take one second, well that's the default. Let's hook this up at one, and you'll see the result of it flashing from black to white. If we change it to four seconds, we're gonna see it take four seconds to cycle. Now it's not gonna go black, white, black, white. What you're gonna do is you're actually gonna see two seconds of black and two seconds of white because the cosine and the sine actually dip above and below the zero. Now, how do they look? Let's go ahead and pull up the actual picture. And this is what a sine wave looks like. As you can see, it starts off below. The zero point is zero. And then it goes up and down and up and down. And this is, of course, this length here for a complete cycle, let's say from here to here, because keep in mind it's going to cycle up and down, this is going to be our period. So from here to here would be one second if we have a period of one. Cosine is going to be almost identical. Let's actually put them next to each other. Actually, I had another one for this. I'll show that in a second. But cosine, the difference is a cosine, the zero value is going to be at one, not zero like a sine. If I was to actually pull up this one, which I had up and then I closed it and we showed them compared, you can see the difference. Basically our sine wave is gonna start at zero and go up and our cosine is gonna start at one and go down. And you're gonna find that they're gonna be exactly 90 degrees difference at any point for the sine and the cosine. So what do we use them for? Well, like I said, you use them for modulating, for getting an effect, a nice smooth wave as you saw. So for example, if I want something to, if I want to use like world displacement and move something smoothly, I could use a sine or a cosine wave. If I want to have something flashing on and off like this, well, here you go. I can set, let's say I wanted it to, let's say I wanted a light to flash on and off. Well, I can use this. I can set my time to say three seconds, and then you're going to see it flashing on and off. Keep in mind, this is going to be an input, so you can apply it to an actual color itself. Maybe we'll multiply it by color. Let's set this to like a yellow color. We'll multiply that there. We'll go here. We'll shove this into our base color. And then you're going to see it going from black to yellow. So that's what our sine and cosine nodes are for. They're basically, like I said, they give us that nice smooth wave. It's a sine wave or a cosine wave. And your difference is your sine is going to start at zero or a black and your and go up to white, whereas your cosine is going to start at white and go down to black or one to zero, zero to one. That's it. That's our cosine and our sine. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.